Hi everyone, I am Ishan Sharma and in this video, I want to talk about the most underrated skill that 99% of you have never considered learning or getting better at. And at the end, I will also talk about 9 ways, 9 tips that will help you get better at this one skill that I'll be talking about in this video. What do you think this skill is going to be? If you have any idea, pause this video and write it down in the comment section as well. But let me talk about this one skill. So when you look at your parents, right? Your parents, whenever they go out in the market, right? In the sabzi mandi, or they go out to buy something or the other. They are buying fruits, they are buying vegetables, they are buying other essentials for the house. They always negotiate if you have noticed, right? They always put forward their own price and then they haggle with the seller and then they arrive at a agreed price by both of them, right? And I think this skill of negotiating, of being assertive of what is the fair price for something is lost with us. And I want to talk about why this is important, right? Like most of you are focusing on how can you get a better paying job? How can you get a more fulfilling career? While you're not focusing on how can you negotiate better? And let me tell you the benefits of negotiating, right? Number one, it will help you save more, right? When you go out, when you buy stuff, you can actually negotiate and come at a better price that is agreeable by both of you. Number two, it will also help you to win more in arguments, or in just situations at which someone is trying to, you know, persuade you or try to step on you. So that is where you will be more assertive about yourself or about your decision. And the skill will also help you to make more money, right? If you are getting into the job market, if you are getting your first client as a freelancer, the first thing you do when you onboard them is to talk about the price. What is the rate that they would want to agree upon? Now, most of us are poor at negotiating because of which we get a lower salary, we get a lower pay from our client and at the end, we end up making lesser money than what we could have actually made. Now, this is a big problem that needs to be addressed and that is why I'm making this video right now. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you think that learning negotiation is important. And now let's talk about the nine ways in which you can get better at negotiating. Well, first of all, imagine yourself being in a negotiating space. You need to look assertive, right? So you need to hone in your body language. There is something called as the 73855 rule, which basically says that People will judge you, they will like or dislike your communication based on 7% of what you say, 38% of the tonality of what you say, and 55% of your body language, of how you move, of how are you using your posture when you're speaking something or the other. And hence, you need to stand up straight, pull your shoulders back, have a smile, and have a firm handshake. When you do that, you become the assertive person and you become the dangerous one as well. So that is the first thing you can do. The second thing you can do is to use the word fair in your communication, right? Like you can say something like, do you think this is the fair value of this thing? Do you think this is what I should earn fairly? When you talk with your recruiter, you can say, is this the fair pay that I deserve? When you do that, you are not being offensive to that person while you are trying to put your stand forth saying that, hey, is this the right pay or do you think this is what I actually deserve? But you're saying it in a better way so that they are not feeling offended, right? So that is the second most important thing that you need to focus on whenever you're negotiating with someone. The third tip is to know your best alternative to this deal, right? Like if I ask you, if you are sitting in a placement and if you're sitting in a conversation with a recruiter and they say, let's now talk about your pay and you know that you have 10 other companies that you can work at. So then you know your alternative to this deal. If this deal doesn't work out, you have 10 other options and hence you can have more say and you can walk away from this negotiation if you want to. Right now, this is a very powerful stand to be in, right, in which you can walk away and you know what is your best alternative right so knowing this is going to give you the upper hand and you would know exactly what you would do agar ye deal nahi ho pai to fourth tip is to use something called as the anchoring effect and make the first offer yourself right ab aisa main kyu bol raha hu 
आपने बहुत सारे लोगों को बोला होगा कि यू शुड नेवर स्पीक फर्स्ट लेट देम से फर्स्ट लेट देम पुट द फर्स्ट ऑफर एंड देन नेगोशिएट बट द रियलिटी इज इफ यू वुड स्टेट योर ऑफर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज द बायर और एज समन हु इज गेटिंग दैट सैलरी नाउ वेन यू फर्स्ट स्टेट योर प्राइज वेन यू कोर्ट द प्राइज एट यू आर कम्फर्टेबल पेइंग इन दैट सेंस यू हैव एंकर्ड द प्राइज बैंड दैट दे कैन मूव इन राइट अगर आपने बोला कि मुझको ये आलू बीस रुपये में ही चाहिए राइट right? so now the person who's selling it cannot even think of 40 rupees right then they will try to negotiate it in between like 20 to 25 rupees to 30 rupees or something in that range but i hope you get the idea the idea here is that you put forward that this is what i'm comfortable with and then the person in front of you will adjust according to that price and will be coming near to that, that price will be anchored toward that price right i hope i'm making sense uh, i don't make videos on topics like these so if you are enjoying this please share it with a friend and hit the like button as well and let me know in the comment section agar aapko ye video pasand aa rahi ho to ek simple tha rule of thumb yaad rakhna ki if you know the price band that they negotiate in right like if you know ki ye company uh, freshers ko hire karti hai to salary kareeban 12 se 15 lakh ke beech mein deti hai salana so then you are in a better state so then you can go for the extreme high right and then negotiate from that right so you can start with 15 and you can end it at 14.5 or something like that so this technique of having your price first making the offer first and then anchoring the for the person in front of you towards that is powerful the fifth tip is to ask open ended questions right so in this case you are trying to empathize with the person in front of you you are asking them questions like you know what do you think is the fair price of this or how do you think this price makes sense or what will you lose if this happens or that happens right so you are asking questions that are open ended and you are letting the person in front of you talk and share what is going on in their mind right and the more they talk the more points you understand about the situation that you are in currently and that will help you to understand their perspective in a much better way the sixth step is to side step killer questions just an example i was talking with one of my clients at market up and we were negotiating for how much they should pay us right the agency and they say that are tumhara isme kitna margin hai meko batao meko batao they were trying to understand my margin and then quote me accordingly right so that my margin could be reduced for their profit or whatever way you want to think about this so i just said simply that hey i cannot share that with you because that is info that is secret it's a part of the company that you cannot get access to right as simple as that they asked me a question like how much do you pay your freelancers they were trying to understand the margin that we currently have in the services that we offer and again we said that hey this is not something that we can share with you and uh, this is a very important part because if you talk more you give away more points that they could then grill you on like when they ask you like how much salary are you expecting you should instead say what are your salary bands that you are currently offer to this particular role instead of quoting your own pay kyunki okay, isme kya hoga na ki if you low ball if you say ki acha theek hai i am expecting 10 lpa they won't ever go to 15 lpa which is their normal price band right they would always keep you limited to that number only now the seventh tip is to be hard on the problem and be soft on the person that is in front of you again the idea is to empathize with them the idea is to convince them for a particular number that is suitable for both of you that both of you can agree upon can negotiate upon right so what you want to do instead is you would want to ask questions and share your perspective in a way that is focusing on the problem for example you know when i was with a client they asked me this question that how much do you charge for xyz service and i said that this is what we charge and they said that uh, this is too expensive like your company is just ripping people off instead of saying that like when you say stuff like that that is like you attacking that person or the company that they are a part of instead of that you can say hey i think that the market has comparatively lesser rates so can we work this out or can i understand why is the rate so high right so when you are doing that you are focusing more on the problem and not the person particularly right and that enables both of you to arrive at a better solution that is suitable to both of us right i am i hope i'm making sense to all of you people who are watching this video okay we are coming close to the end of this video the eighth tip is to vocalize the losses or the profits that this deal can generate right and we are taking the benefit of loss aversion 
people are very much averse to their losses and when you speak it out like when you vocalize things when you say that hey if this deal happens you get to make x or this is what i offer to you right just an example and if this deal does not happen then this is what you lose when you vocalize it right it becomes much more prominent in their head and they then start thinking about the loss and and when you do that they will be much more likely to say yes because they don't want to lose out on it so make sure that you vocalize things if it doesn't work out have a firm stand and be assertive when you say that thing that this is what you end up losing if you say no to this deal the ninth and the last tip that you need to remember is to end the conversation on a good positive note right so why am i saying this is because you don't want to leave a bad taste in someone's experience right when they think of you and that conversation they need to be thinking it in a respectful tone and if you leave them with something like oh you know you're just a rip off or you're just cheap or whatever that doesn't leave a good impression instead what you do is you say that hey i would love to work together at a cost that is effective for both of us and would love to see how we can make this happen right so in this case you want to work so you are interested in working with them but number 2 you also want to work at a cost that works out for both of us right so these were the nine tips that will help you get better at negotiating i don't say that i am the best negotiator i suck at a lot of times but it is all about practice right like ye nine tips if you will apply these it's it's a lot more likely that you will be able to win many more times right so i hope that this video helps if you can share this with your with your friends on social you can tag me on instagram at ishan sharma sent 90 that would be wonderful if you are still watching this video till the very end write in the comment section i was till the very end thank you so much for watching uh, and go out execute there is a book called as never split the difference by chris voss that is a fantastic book if you want to dive deeper into the art of negotiating right and get better at it so again i have taken all of these points from that book itself and i'm just sharing that with you and i'm even getting better at negotiating every single day right when i'm applying all of these points so i hope it helps you as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next video